Hey everyone, uh, here's another easy SQL interview question. It's problem number 196. Uh, the problem name is delete duplicate emails. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into the question. So write a SQL query to delete all duplicate email entries in a table named person, uh, keeping only unique emails based on its smallest ID. Okay, so that's a lot of information. Let's write this down. Uh, what is the output? Well, we're not outputting anything. We're just deleting, right? Um, now, what are we deleting? So what we're deleting are, you know, essentially duplicate entries, duplicate email entries, um, and keeping only unique emails based on its smallest ID, right? So you are getting rid of those duplicate emails, but how do you determine which records to keep and which records to kind of get rid of so that's what it's saying here we want to retain the smallest id so one way we could approach this is for every email identify the smallest id and then we can perform that delete operation um, uh, and delete all ids that aren't part of that subset of ids if that makes sense so essentially you'll delete everything that's not the smallest id per email okay uh let's go ahead and finish reading the question though so uh that table has the field id and the field email uh, and we do see an example here of john at example.com having uh, two occurrences. So in a perfect world, according to the logic here, uh, our output should, you know, essentially delete uh, number three, because we're going to be keeping ID number one, because it's the smallest ID for that email. Um, so ID is the primary key for this table. That's good to know. Uh, for example, after running your query, the above person table should have the following rows. Okay, so that's exactly what we just said. It's gonna it's gonna delete row number or ID number three because that's uh, not the smallest ID. One is the smallest ID for uh, this first email up here. Uh, note your output is the whole person table after executing your SQL, and be sure to use the delete statement. So, okay, so let's get started. Um, let's start here. So for every email, we need to identify the smallest ID. So uh, we're going to select the email, right? Because we're aggregating on that email. And what we can do is grab that smallest ID. Uh, and I'm just going to give that an alias just so I know not to delete that. So ID to keep, right? That's the ID we want to keep. That's the lowest ID for that email. That's what I don't want to do delete. I want to delete everything else. Um, and we're pulling from the person table. Uh, and of course, because this is an aggregation, be sure to group by email. Now I'm going to wrap this um, as a CTE. And if you don't know what a CTE is, it's basically, it, it stands for common table expression. And it's basically in a sense, a subquery, right? So this subset I have here, I have this as my subquery, and this is the name of this subquery. So I can reference this query by calling this as if it was a table. So essentially, my CTE is kind of kind of like a table in a sense. Um, so now I can, what I can do, I've I've gotten this one done. So now I can delete all IDs that aren't part of this subset of IDs. So we're going to delete from the person table where, uh, let's see, where the ID is not in uh, my list of IDs in here. So my select ID to keep, right? Because that's the alias we gave it here. That's the column name. Select ID to keep from uh, my CTE, right? So just to reiterate, uh, first thing we did is at an email level, select the lowest possible ID for that email. 
wrap, uh, wrap that around as a subquery or CTE. And now that I have that CTE, now that I have a list of, hey, don't get rid of these IDs, I can delete all records or all IDs or all records with the associated IDs from my person table as long as those IDs don't appear in this list, if that makes sense. So I'll go ahead and run this and hopefully everything should work out and looks like it did. I'm gonna hit submit. Looks good. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe to my channel for more great content. Like the video if you found it helpful and be sure to leave any comments or questions if you have any or if you'd like to make a request for a future video. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.